Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the picture stack and pop art, which is in the photo play of the guided section. So just go ahead and make sure you're in Chapter 6 or 6B. Go ahead and select the sunflower and then press Control I, which is a shortcut to open the Elements Editor workspace. We're going to go over to the Layers panel here. If you don't see it, you will go to Windows, Layers, and just click this little flyout menu here. You can't see it on my screen, but it'll fly out. And if you go towards the bottom, you'll see it says flatten image. It's about one, two, three, four from the bottom. And that'll flatten those three layers into one. You probably don't have to do that, but just for sakes. Then click on the guided. The flattening of the image has nothing to do with what we're going to do. It's just I wanted to flatten the image, just um, so you know. Go ahead and scroll down until we get to the photo play, which I call the fun section and then click on picture stack and it shows you a before and after so roll over to see a before after before after you get a choice of four eight or twelve pictures I tend to stay away from the four it looks a little shabby I'm gonna um, select the eight pictures and see what happens and you can see down here it's working its magic great and you can choose a border width small medium or large I like the large you can change the background you can choose a gradient or a solid color let's choose a solid color this will automatically allow you to name the new layer I'll just leave it as base this will bring up the color picker you can choose a color for this background you can either move this to change the color you can choose a hue the saturation or the brightness. You can move within this to change the different colors. See? Actually, it's not too bad, that one there. Um, I tend to just move this a little bit out of the way. And I tend to take this cursor when it goes off the screen. You can sample a color within the image. It's always wise to sample a color within the image as a background. So I chose a nice green. Click OK. And there you have it. That's nice, not too bad. I'm going to click cancel because we're going to use this for the uh, next image. And then go ahead and click pop art under photo play. And here it allows you to choose two styles. Um, we're not going to choose that style because it, it doesn't look good. Um, so we'll just choose this one just so I can show you. We're going to convert this into a bitmap, which is uh, black and white only. There you go. That looks nice in itself. You could play around with that. Now we're going to add a color fill adjustment layer, which is going to put a little light green aqua color, and then it's going to duplicate that image. I personally could stop here and be okay, but let's duplicate the image and see what this pop art does. And instantly you have a nice little pop art. So instead of having a sunflower, maybe you could use a person's face if you wanted to, or something of that sort. So it's just another option that Photoshop Elements provides you.